Welcome back. Today's really exciting, a little bit different. We're gonna basically talk you through what we're gonna be turning our second yeah. bedrooms into. We're making our dream wardrobes, and whilst we're doing that, we've also got new clothes to show you that we're, they're gonna be like the first items to go in our brand new wardrobe. Yeah, so if you followed us or you're following us, we've just moved mm -hmm. and yeah, we're designing our wardrobe. So we're gonna show you the rooms that they're gonna go in. I've actually designed and ordered and we've got the wardrobes. They are from Ikea, they're the PAX wardrobe and we can actually probably show you pictures as well. We'll put on the screen of like how they'll look in CGI. Um, but yeah, we're gonna show you the rooms and then talk you through a little haul. So I guess we can start with what we're wearing. Yes, we've both got brand new outfits on from Nasty Girl. Everything we'll be showing in this video is outfits from Nasty Girl. We'll have a discount code with them. We'll link everything in the description. But I love this tracksuit. I've not worn bright red in a long time. I think I've worn a red suit before, but not a tracksuit, and it gives me major Hailey Bieber vibes. Mm, very cool. It's a very statement outfit. It's nice and slouchy, like kind of like what boys wear, mm -hmm. and I love it. It's really comfy, statement. We love anything with like an American state on. You'll yeah. see, I've got some other stuff in a bit. But yeah, this is nice and easy to wear. It's one of them where I do feel kind of cool. Yeah, but no and effort. It's effortless. No effort. It's just, just, just the colour, honestly. And then I'm also wearing a tracksuit. This is a three-piece tracksuit. And it says Los Angeles on it. Oh, sorry, not sorry. we've both got states on. Um, I really like this because it's like print. This is so in at the moment. It's on the hoodie and the joggers. And it comes with this little sports bra thing as well. So it's a really nice three-piece set. And the quality of this is actually so nice. I got it in a size up so it was nice and baggy. Um, but yeah, I love this. It's really warm and actually quite hot. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm wearing, and then we'll show you some other bits. I guess we'll start in your bedroom wardrobe room. Yeah, so we're actually in my apartment at the moment, so I guess it makes sense to just kind of take you through. If you've been watching our vlogs, you'll know we've been talking about it a lot, and you're gonna have to excuse the fact that you've got to realize I've literally, like, my whole life is in this room. Elle's kind of gradually taking things from her family home yeah. but we sold our family home at the same time i moved which i'm sure you're so bored of hearing about now shall i film you and you yeah. explain so, it is a mess in here but this is the reality of life and this is going to be my wardrobe room so it's we've designed it very well we took our time didn't we oh my god it took hours so i'm sorry my foot stuck today <laughs> this wall is going to be fully wardrobes as in like Wardrobe, I'm pretty sure three, three. double wardrobes yeah. fit here. We're going for the walk-in wardrobe vibes, no doors. Yeah. Everything's on show, which is actually scaring me because everything has to be tidy, I guess. Yeah. And then this is going to be a corner unit as well. We're going to move this carbon monoxide alarm. We've got to still obviously have it, but I'm going to move it. My brother's going to move it to this side. And then I can have, um, I think it comes up to about here. And then this is going to be like... Shelves. When you walk in, because my door's behind, it's going to be kind of like the show part. So that will be shelves for bags, shoes, kind of like the more stunning. Yeah, corner. the neat bit. The neat bit. And then obviously I've got a window here. So then I'm working with this wall and I'm having three big wardrobes again. And then I've kind of got the space in the middle where I'm thinking of having like a standalone island. You know, like the Kardashians mm -hmm. obviously have huge ones where they've got drawers and like they've got jewellery vanities and stuff. Mm -hmm. But obviously that will come with time. And then I'm thinking about having a drawer unit under the window for stuff like underwear. Um, I don't know, stuff that you just... That's, that's, that box over there is just purely like bikinis mm. and little... We don't have bits, lofts here, you know? so yeah, we've got to make the most of the space. Obviously, follow us along with these videos and you'll see how we progress. But I'd say a little bit of advice. If you're planning to do this, it really helped us looking at other people's dinner. So yeah. Molly May, she's got an, obviously an amazing wardrobe room. So looking at the way she's designed it and how many... Um, rails and stuff charlotte emily sanders pinterest is really good yeah 
there's yeah it's, it's it's writing down i wrote down a list as well of like how many sort of compartments i'm gonna need for like coats shoes bags t-shirts hoodies tracksuits like how much stuff you need how much stuff you have and then how much space you're gonna need yeah but the ikea packs designer is actually so good because you just design what you want and then it just adds it all to your basket yeah it's really really good but it's good to Get a second opinion, I'd say. So obviously, I kind of had it in my head, and then once Elle came in and we were sitting doing it, she was like, "Wait, you have a corner? Why don't you add a corner unit?" And mm. I was like, "I didn't think of that." So it's, it's making handy the most... to have people with you. Yeah. Obviously, it's hard to. I understand it's so messy in here. It's hard to envision what I'm saying. So. And obviously, we measured it all up with the tape measure, um, and yeah, we still need to build it, which is another story, but. Hopefully it will be done in the next sort of month or so. The reason we've not put it up yet is because we're getting the floors like changed and obviously you can't put things up if you're changing the floor. Yeah, that's why we're a bit stumped at the moment because yeah. we can't make the next move. Okay, before we go downstairs, before we just chuck on another outfit each to show you guys, it's kind of like a bit of a mismatch. This is a really, really nice cord. The material is like really nice soft linen-y cotton it's almost like a bed sheet it's so comfortable and it's just really nice and relaxed you could wear this in the house if you wanted to be a bit bougie or you could obviously wear this out i'm picturing on holiday maybe or in the summer um but it is quite like warm as well so it's kind of like pajama vibes but i really like it um but like you see people like in the films wearing this with like a bump decorating <laughs> again i think put a bum bag around you Hayley bieber again yeah i think it's really cool and i love the color it's just a baby blue really nice and relaxed but it is so soft and i just just stuck to my normal size because it's a little bit oversized but yeah but i've changed into a three piece so there's a little crop top here as you can see and then there's a button down cardigan which is actually but midi length and then it's got these stirrup leggings which I think they're heavily inspired by the Jacquemus. I don't know how you say that brand name. It's one of the only brands I've Moose, used. yeah. Jacquemus. Yeah, I think so. They've got a lot of this whole stirrup vibes and as you can see, we're going to have stirrups on a budget which is amazing and I love the quality of this. I feel super comfortable and anything ribbed with this kind of detail. I just think it looks really expensive and luxurious and I love the idea that you get a set for three and your outfit's done, like not much thought has to go into it and it's very angelic this outfit, isn't it darling? Very angelic. But anyway, we're going to go downstairs to Elle's wardrobe and talk through hers now. Okay, we're at mine now and again, you're going to have to envision it and uh, at the moment it's my bedroom so there's a big bed in the middle but so. This is what it looks like. You go stand there and act out. Okay. So, basically, I'm gonna have the same either side. And if you come around the corner, you'll see that there's a built-in wardrobe already. Um, but I'm gonna knock this out, um, just cause it's kind of dead space and the wardrobe's a bit rickety anyway. We're both gonna do this. Um, see this is in her main bedroom, but yeah, get rid of this wall basically. And then I'm gonna have, I'll put it on the screen, but I think it's four big ones and a corner one as well. So all along this side will be like the main part. And then this side will, I'm starting off with just two doubles, which should come to about here. Um, if I want something else on the end, I can do that at a later date, but I don't wanna, actually I think it's two and a half. Two and a half, because the reason being, even though this is getting knocked through, she's still having a wardrobe out here so you don't want to lose the walkway yeah i don't want to have it like closed off i think mm. it should come out to like here but i can always if it's too much i can always get rid of that half one um and we've like built in drawers that you'll see um but yeah at the moment i'm just going to leave it as those two might have something in the middle like i said but that's something we can do at a later date. It's so annoying because Ikea do two lengths, don't they? Mm. And We're just too short for the tall yeah, ones. The tall ones but then the everything season. happens for a reason. The tall ones are out of stock at the moment. True. And apparently a few of you in my your few of you in my DM said that you've been waiting for the tall packs ones for a few months, so maybe it is a blessing. The next thing we're gonna be explaining is how we kind of come up with the sections. I've just touched on it and say it and said 
obviously look at other people for inspiration but I do think it's worth doing what else said. write a list see what you own a lot of so for me personally I have this strange addiction with um like just jumpers like just loads of jumpers so these are two of my new jumpers from Nasty Girl and shock what do you know another state jumper so for example a lot of the sections of my wardrobes are going to be rails at the top for long items and then I've got smaller sections at the bottom for joggers jumpers t-shirts because I have a lot of a lot more shorter things than I do long if that makes sense but I have a trench coat to show you in a second which is super long so I'm keeping one section and so is L for like head to toe your dramatic floor length the odd ball gown do you know what I mean ball gown ball gown <laughs> but yeah this is a jumper that I got from Nasty Girl recently this is part of the collection for International Women's Day there's some really cute quotes on there on some of the things t-shirts jumpers everything and there's some funny jokey ones but yeah I love this so comfy and we love a bit of pink and then just showed you this one but I absolutely love this jumper the colour is insane it's like a forest green and yeah I'm here for this one I probably yeah I might put this on in a sec because it goes actually cute with these leggings so this is my little pink t-shirt from the international women's day collection and this is really cute it says girls support each other with some butterflies on it same sort of baby pink and I just got this a couple sizes bigger because I like t-shirts to be nice and oversized um so yeah I really like that and then I've also put on this next cohort I really like how nasty I have loads of cohorts that it just makes it so simple to buy um when they just they come together so this is just a really nice knitwear one and it's just high-waisted trousers they go down and they're just wide leg at the bottom and it's really nice and cozy and warm it's not like an itchy knit it's actually really soft and then the sleeves are like ah do they go like that not sure but they're like shoulder pad sleeves um so it's a really nice like sort of oversized vest high neck and obviously the same color as a cord and this is really comfy and nice and transitional to go into spring because you've not got the sleeves but it's still like a nice cozy knitwear material so i love this told you i wasn't joking when i said i have a sweater addiction it's actually silly but honestly one of my favorite addictions that i've got to be honest but this is california shock horror what doesn't say california on my clothes i love this color we were just both saying how this is just a good vibe it's like an acid wash kind of brown and then it's got a yellow which kind of ties in with creams and stuff we've still got the leggings on this is so comfy i love this i always 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 size up my jumper so these are all the jumpers i'm wearing are large and then i love this that's nice and this is a bit um nostalgic for me when i used to do um a fashion uh placement all i did one day at my placement was go through the pantone box of all the colors it's like swatch colors oh. pantone is like when you've got a pantone of a green shade oh wow yeah. yeah so yeah this is obviously a little mimic of like a grey pantone swatch i guess but um yeah pantones are color swatches and i love this jumper again it's that kind of acid wash grey kind of vibe gone for a size large again absolutely love this you just can't go wrong with these jumpers so this is what i'm telling you guys this is why my sections of wardrobe is there's going to be <sighs> which one day in the future we'll have one walk-in wardrobe that's just for track suits and jumpers <laughs> and that will just be literally perfect but yeah cool. some people actually like to hang you fold you want to fold your i want to fold you? them and have them on shelves yeah i'll let you talk about that because that stresses me right out yeah i don't think i i mean i actually have a jumper obsession too it's a bit silly but i don't think i actually have any today so that's a bit weird but yeah i think what i do now i mean what i did at home was i had like a shelf obviously it wasn't enough space but i folded them nicely and neatly and i feel like you can see each one really nice um so i try and do it like a color coordinated thing but you'll see when i get around to it um but i also have an obsession with trousers so i'm also going to have trouser rails as the bottom part of the wardrobe and i actually have these in a terracotta color um from a couple of years ago which i love and 
I've only worn a couple of times, but I just can't bring myself to get rid of them because I love them so much. Um, and they actually, I feel like they've upped their material. The, the quality is really nice. I wore these in Dubai. Remember when we went to Notes? <laughs> but we didn't actually. Um, but yeah, I got them in a creamy sort of colour. They're really versatile. They can be dressed down with trainers or dressed up with heels. And I've just paired it with this really cool roll neck type thing which has the back cut out and i love this color i am wearing a bra so excuse that um but i love this color i think this would look so cute with shorts even when it's not too warm because obviously it's got long sleeves but then the back is missing and i think it's really cute it comes in different colors as well um but yeah this color is very unique i'd say um but yeah this is a cool outfit. So doing this haul, I'm actually realizing that maybe I should have had just like short section, short section, short section, because everything like, for instance, these trousers will be folded, as in, you know, trouser hangers, and everything I've got is kind of short. But anyway, I've got long blazers, but I'm here for the whole short blazer cropped hype. I literally love this so much. I do feel like Nasty Girl was one of the first places I saw to jump on the crop blazer. Do you remember mm, when we yeah. done a haul with them ages ago? Yeah. And yeah, I just love it. I think it's really good if you kind of want to accentuate your figure. I think blazers are great when they're kind of hired if you feel a little bit conscious. Do you know what I mean? And this kind of shows off a little bit of this area, especially if you're going to wear high waisted stuff like these. So these trousers are something I've never seen before. They're the thickest leather wide leg grey trousers and then they've got the ruched button zipper waist which is good for a girl like me that likes to eat a lot because it expands with you which is great and yeah I didn't plan to put these together but it kind of goes kind of cute I guess if I wore black shoes with this these two ones I didn't have in my wardrobe that I needed have a lot of black blazers but didn't have a cropped one and didn't have grey leather trousers so I just changed my top kept on the bottom half I think this would be so nice in spring summer again it's got like a tie back I think it would look really cute with shorts if we can ever go away or well, hopefully we have a nice hot summer but it does look quite nice with the trousers as well you could always kind of tuck it up it's that knit kind of material which i think actually works so well in vests because it's kind of like conflicting like it's thick material but it's not actually covering everything but i like that i like that it mixes up the sort of fabric that vest tops usually are um but i really like this it's really nice soft material as always and yeah it's got two tires for the back and they did have this in black as well because i remember seeing it but i thought this one was a bit more springtime appropriate and then i think i've got one more thing Ooh. i was supposed to just quickly show this with the outfit i had on not i don't know if i'd wear it with it because i guess the greys are different colors but they're both leather another thing i lacked i didn't have a gray leather trench coat and this is so cool yeah that's i literally nice. love this i do feel like i'm starting to fall back in love with the color gray I mean, I used to be so obsessed with it. If anyone is an OG and remembers my room at my old house, <laughs> like it was grey overload, but I definitely am starting to gravitate towards more grey clothing items. And this is really cool if you just want a statement outfit or you want to kind of show that you know style, but you actually don't have the confidence to know what to wear. You could literally wear like a black tracksuit under this. Chuck this on, you look like you're good to go. Yeah, it's a quick hey, one to again. Yeah. Oversized. But yeah, this is definitely one of the more investment pieces, but a coat you have forever, and this will go in my life. Nice long coat section. Quickly grab a coat and run. Yeah. Nice thing I do underwear. Okay. So, it's like underwear slash loungewear. I've put the top on to show you that it could obviously be worn as a crop top, and it's really nice racer style shape. The colour is divine and then i won't put these on but i'll just show you how it's a little underwear set to go in my little underwear drawer um i mean i'd probably sleep in this as well it looks so comfortable it feels so soft and these are just knickers not everyday thong but yeah they're really really nice and stretchy and ribbed and they're just so nice and soft so 
I mean, you could, like you can see, you can wear this top as a top with these trousers as an outfit or as an underwear set or both. Wear these under the trousers. <laughs> so come on and sleep over and everything will be just fine. <laughs> yeah, so you said oh nothing else, you would do, do underwear. underwear. They do pajamas. Whole pajamas. Ah, they're coming back. You get your trouser option, your short option. Oh, Elf. my I've got God. a freaking scrunchie in here. <gasps> wow, that is so. Isn't that good present? That's really nice. Like, yeah. Say you were doing like a Hindu, get everyone just a set. Sorry. Yeah, I am doing a Hindu. <laughs> um, doing a Hindu. So you can wear your pajama. You can wear that under the if you want. Cute. So this, sorry, it's cut. I'll let you finish. No, I'll finish. Oh, you okay. go. Honestly, I do think I deserve this moment because <laughs> I. These come in so many different colours, by the way. I'm getting some. Yeah, so this set you get pajama shorts, a pajama shirt, the eye mask, the scrunchie. You get a pajama bag to put everything in. That is. There's brilliant. not much more to say other than that's brilliant. Yeah. So. Stunning. That's what it is. Nothing going to do everything now. Everything. Yeah, and I like how easy it is to just buy things with like one. But that's everything from me, over and out. And then the last thing from me is I got some booties and I've had my eye on some boots like this for a long time and Nasty Girl, their quality's there with quality lushness. What's that from? I don't know. I think it's from like Wild Child or something. Um, never heard of it. Quality lushness. Any, where's that from please? Yeah, let us know guys, we can count on you. So yeah, these are just really nice ankle boots in a cream colour, stone colour, transitional because it's not summer yet, but there might still be some rainy days. And I've had my eye on some, but they've been super expensive and nice to go. Our quality and price. So yeah, that's everything I got. That is a wrap. Hope you guys liked our outfits. Don't forget to use our discount code. We love Nasty girl. There's some good bits on there at the moment and it is a really weird time at the moment. Like one day I'm like bragging to Elle that I've not turned my heating on for four weeks and then next day in here two weeks. It's and then right. this is on all day because I'm I'm really cold today. I'm okay, but I've not been outside. <laughs> yeah, I mean I'm warm now, but yeah, looking at the weather at the weekend, we're in our sunglasses. Honestly, what happened? Is the, the vibe changes. But yeah, we can't wait to get our wardrobes up and running, get things packed. That'll be another video as well, like sorting them out. Oh my god, my lips, I'm so sorry guys. That was really, pro that was a problem. What? My makeup's just gone everywhere. That's it's okay. been a long morning, you know. Productive though. But yeah, we will definitely keep you in the loop. Keep up with our vlogs, we kind of update you guys in and about. I know it's hard to kind of skip to a time stamp where we're talking about it because our vlogs are very long. Yeah. But we will do more of like titled videos when it's like wardrobe transformation yeah 100 bathroom transformation stuff like that so it's more specific than just like like i said you just sieve it for a vlog yeah us cooking or something but yeah hope that kind of gives you an idea as always we are open well we're open to your suggestions for example we've ordered all the parts from we've got yeah them all. so don't tell us it's a bad idea because they're literally in a van waiting for us to come. yeah but for another kind of bit of inspo for you guys do definitely look on ikea not that it's an ad but obviously it's not an ad it's ikea but Imagine, you that. if you got your wardrobe designed by like a bespoke place it can cost a lot of money Thousands. and we've got so many parts that like we filled a van we filled a van I think we've with got a our two somewhere. sections yeah and it was not cheap, but for something that's gonna be our whole wardrobe, it comes to like a grand each yeah. for us. And some wardrobe places will charge you about 10 to 15 grand for a bespoke full bedroom wardrobe. Yeah, it's kind of system. So um, we're excited though. Yeah, and we're gonna, when we take you through, we'll tell you things we regret, things we recommend and stuff like that. So stay tuned, hope you enjoyed this video. And yeah, these items are gonna be the first things to go in our new wardrobe. Can't wait. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.